from getting broken <laughs> because it the lid stops there so uh now this shouldn't even be there but it still is and i haven't felt like messing with it it's leftover stuff from when we installed our new bathtub mostly pieces of tile and plumbing pieces which i usually keep them over there Actually, the, the bucket and stuff that I usually keep them in is pretty full. That's the one reason why I didn't mess with it. Okay, so uh, now I can get to the washer. That's the whole point. Okay. Well, I have to go, you know, in the house to get the washer and all that stuff. What did I do? Oh, I hit that with the box. You never saw a thing I was showing you, didn't you? Dang, you... Know, you you darn that thing moves really easy and i just bumped it oh and it swings and it swings for a long time sometimes kind of really hard to stop it i haven't broke down and bought uh i keep forgetting too well i keep forgetting because i don't have it wrote well i have it rolled down somewhere but i didn't really think i needed a tripod but when i start really just using this camera like this i do I need a real, I don't think I want a regular camera tripod because I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on one, you know. Uh, $25 is plenty for me to spend on one. Maybe a little more, $35. But from what I've seen in the reviews, you can spend $50 and $75 and they're still any stronger. Still made out of plastic. They're still uh, Pieces are going to break off of Maybe the legs will break. And, uh, so, uh, uh, and I saw a real good idea, Marcus Picks, he, he's a real good, real good knowledgeable photographer he used, he, on YouTube. He used to work, uh, you know, in Hollywood and stuff. He made, he actually made a real, uh, um, uh, Hollywood movie himself. Uh, I saw, I watched part of it the other day. It's, a uh, it's. And he, he's a he used to, he's a he, he doesn't do it anymore but he was a, he also made props he that's one of the main things he did he made uh, well not props miniatures they are props but they're miniatures so he he made a pirate movie but it's not a regular pirate movie it's like uh, got wizards and stuff in it and I guess it's got yeah I got magic in it and stuff and he this movie when was it back in the ni mid nineties or early nineties I think. Uh, of course, there's no and there's no CGI in it. That's what's really it's cool because it's uh, it's got a whole different look than CGI, you know. And uh, uh, and and he, he, I'm going on and on about it, but well, anyway, uh, what's I don't remember the name of it. But if you go to his channel, you can find out about all that. But uh, anyway, uh, he's he can he's got plenty of money and he can buy any kind of camera he wants. He's got a bunch of cameras, and uh, he'll buy them and then try them out. Nah, that's not that great. He'll give them away. <laughs> I did. I found his channel and didn't know that, but uh, he every week, at least at least twice a month, he gives uh, two or three cameras away. And sometimes it's you know tripods and stuff like that. And, Camera gear, <laughs> he likes to try it all out, and he likes to come up with different ideas. Anyway, he was showing in one of the videos, that's the whole point of my story, uh, light, light trees, light stands. Good, you know, they're good and sturdy, and uh, and they'll go, you can get them that'll go really, really high, because sometimes he wants to, he he wants to go like 30 feet in the air, you know. I don't need, ever need to go that high, but this is uh, taller than I am. I'm 5'11", and that's it. I've got it tilted down. Uh, I was trying to get it up high enough to tilt it down and get me and the deal, but it could go a little higher, but it wobbles so much you can't. Well, it was turning over. It turned over too easy. Now I figured, I've, I've forgotten that you can make the legs stand out wider, and I've got them out pretty, as wide as they can get. A whole lot wider, about twice as wide. So it's, so it's not turning over easy while well, I'm not using the, I pulled it over with the mic cable. That's why I'm using wireless now, even though it doesn't. Now you'll notice right now on my mouth, it's way the audio is way behind my mouth moving. Uh, that's just the best of phone, blue, you know, blue, going to the phone, Bluetooth over there, best it'll do. Uh, I have a Bluetooth transmitter, 
And I started to use it, and I thought, well, uh, I can't, I don't have no way of knowing when the battery's going down, you know, on it. it just, it's just going to start blinking when the battery's low. Well, it's going to be in my bag or in my pocket, and I won't know. So I don't know how long it would last. It might last 20 minutes or it might last eight hours. Uh, so uh, in that in that kind of, in this kind of situation, you know. So I'm going to go and, uh, yeah. So I think I'm going to get me a, a light tree, light tree, a light, light tree. That's for concerts. Uh, I don't know why I was saying that. I knew it was some, I knew it was right about something, but it's not about a work light, you know. And I think I'll just probably get one with a light on it because I could use a good light. And uh, and he showed a bunch of ideas about how different types of uh, uh, quarter inch uh, camera mount gear you know that's inexpensive and that you know you can mount them like you can mount them on the side of a round pole or uh, just all different i didn't know there was so many very well i'd seen all those uh gopro ones and not, you know they're kind of cool but there's not too many of them that would be useful for a regular camcorder that's what this is it's not a i mean it's supposed to be 4k but it's a china 4k so it, and it's got only got a 13 megapixel cmos sensor in it but it's better than my two megapixel phones, but it's not great. Uh, I probably would have been happier if I'd have grit my teeth and spent even just spent 350 on a used, uh, you know, better one. Sometimes you can find a well. I don't think a maybe you can get a new one that would be better than this for 350. But anyway, yeah, I, I just couldn't see spending. I didn't even want to spend 350. At the time, really, it was like 450 to 850 to get anything that was really any better, you know, when I got this last year, I think. Uh, oh, it's over here, the remote. <clears throat> so uh, I was had been kind of carrying it in my pocket, in my watch pocket or something, but I'm afraid I'd mash it on accident, go, go, get, getting in the floor and doing all that stuff. So I'm going to get my washing started and then, well, I'm not going to just turn the camera on for, you know, a whole dryer cycle, but I'll, I might, I might turn it on to show what's going on or, or uh, I might turn it on until it gets heated up good and then turn it off again or something. Well, I am, and I'm going to go, I am going to go ahead and do that test, I think. I could go ahead and do the debating about that going ahead and doing the endoscope test I, I, can't, I mean I really can't do it with the dryer running it's gonna be blowing that be blowing the the smell in my face and and dust and everything else so if I'm gonna I guess I need to do it first I think I'm turning myself back around the other way I guess I I guess I better go get my my laptop and the endoscope and uh and do that first. I probably could would have been better to leave the box over there until until then. I'm really more concerned about making sure this thing works. So, yeah, I'm doing the washing because what I really care about is making it work. And I want to see, I want to run it on the cycle without the vent. It could just be that that thing is so long. Uh, it did for until well, we've had it maybe ten years now. That thing out the roof, but. The dryer getting older, the fan seems to blow great, but it could be that it's not blowing as good as it used to, and it's not getting it on up out of there, just even though it's not restricted. But I don't know for sure that it's not restricted, so I need to find that out. But I'm going to run this first cycle with the thing off. That was my, yeah, I'm going to do that to see so I can compare. Okay, well, I'm going to go get those clothes and stuff, and then I'll come back with the...